I've been redeemed by that precious blood of Jesus. Again, by that precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you got a covenant with God? Your covenant is a blood covenant in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. You don't forget that. You've got a covenant with God. Every true Christian who walk upright with God and serious following Him, he's got a blood covenant with God through the blood of Jesus. And let me tell you, you cannot add to that covenant. It is done. Amen. You cannot add to the blood of Jesus. You cannot make another covenant. You know, sometimes people say, Lord, if you help me with this, I will do this and I will make this and that covenant and that covenant. Amen. There's only one covenant. And what is, what you want to say to the Lord more, let your yes be simply yes. Let your no be no. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When God heals you, you can say to him, God, I give you my word. I will serve you, but by your grace and your strength, please help me to be faithful and to keep my word. Say to God, to let your yes be yes. Let your word be a word of honor. Amen? Do not make promises and covenants. Amen? Let your yes be yes. Lord, I give you my word. I will live holy and upright by your grace. Please grant me grace to keep my word. In Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Pray, Lord God, grant me grace that my word will be honorable. I will not break my word. Let my yes be yes and my no be no. But I want to give you my yes. And I give my no to the devil. I give my yes to you, my Lord. And I give the devil my no. I give sin my no. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Say to God next to I give Jesus my yes. I give the devil my no. I give sin my no. But I give Jesus my yes. Amen. This is important what you say now. Because you know why I make people to confess this? The Bible says, with our heart we believe, in our mouth we confess unto victory and salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. In, in, in our hearts we believe, with our mouth we confess. And now the Bible says, where two or more agree, it will be so. So let us agree as one. If we agree with one another, God is agreeing with us. This is the power of agreement. The moment two Christians agree on earth, or more, two or more, immediately God is agreeing with them. This is strong. Amen. Again, agree with the guy next to you. Say to him, I give Jesus my yes. I give the devil my no. I give sin my no. I give God my yes. I give the Holy Spirit my yes. And I give the devil my no. I give sin my no. In Jesus' name, I will not compromise. My word will be my honor. By the grace that is in Jesus, he will grant me grace to keep my word. My yes is my yes. My no is my no. Listen, devil. My no is my no. My no is my no. I don't fall for your tricks. In Jesus' name, I'm more than a conqueror. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You made a confession together with your brothers and sisters around you. We agreed as one. So God is agreeing with you. God does not expect of you to stop sinning. But He expects of you to want to stop sinning. Say to the guy next to you, when you make a choice, God can do something with your choice. He can empower your choice and grant you grace so that you can stop sinning. Give him a hand. Oh! Oh! Do you hear what I say? God knows you cannot stop sinning by yourself. You cannot. I mean, you give your no to sin, but God does not expect you to stop sinning. But he expects of you to make a choice not to want to sin again. This is acknowledging that you need him. 
And when His grace, when He empowers your choice, you say, you give your no to sin. Saying, I give sin my no. I give my choice to Jesus. I give my yes to Jesus. And I give my choice to Jesus. Oh my Lord, you will empower my choice. You will empower my yes. Because we agree as one. You agree with us. In Jesus' name. Now when you walk out of this meeting tonight, you will experience the power to say no to sin. Uphold that power.